Hey, what's up you two? I'm Zeke and welcome to the Dream Green Show. In this video, I thought it'd be cool for me to make a video showing you guys to take $100 and invest it in two investments during a recession into stocks that are hypothetically recession proof. Yes, these stocks have shown to be recession proof in the past. And as we're entering another recession, hopefully you guys can follow along on the top six recession proof stocks that I'm buying that can make us money while the market is pulling back. But before we dive into this video, this video is brought to you by Weeble. Sign up now by clicking the link down in the description, deposit any amount of money, and you can see five free stocks valued up to $9,300. With those five free stocks, you could keep them inside the platform and decide to use it, or you could sell those five free stocks and withdraw all of your money. Guys, it's literally free money. Also, I left a link in the description to Coinbase. That's by far the easiest way to buy and sell cryptocurrency. Use my code in the description and you get a free $10 worth of Bitcoin just from using that code. And the last link in the description is to Moomoo. Sign up now and deposit $100 and you receive five free stocks, also valued up to $9,300. Once again, you could keep those free stocks inside the platform and decide to use it, or you could sell those free stocks and withdraw all of your money. Guys, it's free money. Do not pass up on these opportunities. But enough talking, guys. Let's go ahead and dive straight into this video. Welcome back dreamers, here we are on the first stock, ticker symbol AAPL, Apple. Now the reason Apple is number one on my list is because they are very hard to find undervalued. In fact, over the last three months, they had an all time high of around $178.96. And over the last month alone, they've pulled back 8.91% down to $157. But if you look at it over the last year, Apple is still not undervalued. Apple is one of those companies that I just wanna to continue to add to my portfolio they have the most cash on hand out of any stocks that i'm interested into buying in fact they have over 202 billion dollars with cash on hand in investments that they could use at any time and do whatever with it that they want so as warren buffett best said the person with the most cash on hand during a recession is king and right now that is apple that's the company with the most cash on hand so right now that's apple that is the company with the most cash on hand this is a very reliable dependable predictable company that has so much cash on hand that has a very high market cap that actually when the market do pull back and i can find apple at an undervalued price i'm gonna dive in head first and buy up a whole bunch of shares of apple in fact they actually pay out a dividend as well they have a dividend yield of 0.56 percent it's not the biggest dividend yield but apple growth over the last five years is completely insane over the last five years, Apple growth is up 333%. And actually you will have only found Apple undervalued just a couple of times over the last five years. Once of course was back in 2020 during the pandemic, it barely read undervalued at the time reaching around $57. So uh, we're actually looking for another correction inside the market during recession on Apple, just so investors like us that's not scared to invest while the market is pulling back into good quality companies like Apple. We're looking to buy Apple undervalued, and this is one of the best recession-proof stocks because Apple has $202 billion of cash on hand. The next stock, number two, is waste management, ticker symbol WM. Now, when it comes to waste management, a utility company, no matter what happens inside the world, no one just ups and say, you know what, I'm gonna cancel trash pickup day. I'm gonna cancel um, my trash pickup. I'd rather just take it to the backyard and bury my trash. I'd rather take it to the graveyard and burn my trash no one ever says that everyone is always going to need this utility of uh, waste management of waste pickup and this company right here is nice and boring and it only goes up in fact over the last five years they're up 121 percent as you guys can see they always are trending up because waste management is one of the best boring companies out there it's not going to make you a millionaire overnight but if you look for slow and steady dependable growth waste management is the way to go in fact they have increased their dividends for the last 19 years and they have a dividend yield of 1.47 percent so waste management is one of my favorite companies to invest into i like to pick up at least one share a month of waste management just because of how dependable they are and that i know that during any bad times during the pandemic 
during a recession that they're going to come through increase their dividends and also no one's going to cancel the utility of trash pickup the next company company number three wally world aka walmart tickle symbol wmt over the last five years they're up 98 percent now companies like walmart actually thrive doing economic downfall. One of the reasons companies like Walmart thrive the economic downfall is, be is because no matter what happens in the world, everyone is going to need to eat and Walmart is the place to go to buy affordable food. You have to go shopping, you have to survive and Walmart is not gonna go anywhere and they're gonna have some of the best prices there is out there. Now right here it says Walmart is expected to allocate between 16 billion and 17 billion dollars in capital expeditions in 2022 more than six billion higher than its historical spending levels. So heavy investments in long-term growth sources such as omni-channel sales, alternative prices, supply chain upgrades, and products in geographic mix improves will pay off for Walmart investors down the line. So a lot of people are bullish on Walmart e-commerce technology and automated uh, opportunities and it's projected another 3.2% in revenue growth for the fiscal year of 2023. So not only that Walmart has historically um, been proven to boom during an economic downturn, but also they're doing things in the back end to also grow their company in ways that we've never seen before. So that's why Walmart is coming in at number three. Now ticker symbol four and five, that's gonna be on whichever one that you prefer and that's gonna be Home Depot and Lowe's. So let's pull up Home Depot. Now, Home Depot is sitting around $294.15 over the last five years. They're up 88% and they pay a dividend of 2.33%. The reason I'm mentioning dividends, if you guys are wondering why, I had mentioned it in my last video. So if you haven't checked out that video, go ahead and check that one out. Companies that pay dividends during a recession are a key factor in actually coming out successful at the end of the recession. All right, so here we go on this article, Home Depot. Ticker symbol HD home improvement giant Home Depot benefits from the same tailwinds that drove Lowe's outperformance in 2020 and in 2028. So, like I said, Home Depot and Lowe's, whichever one that you want to pick, they are both doing good. They both they both did good in the last recession of 2008 and also during the pandemic of 2020. They both end up outperforming the stock market. So, when virtually the entire retail sector was crushed in 2020, home improvement was one of the few pockets of outperformance performance home depot more than 20 percent pullback so far in 2022 is a buying opportunity ahead of spring and summer do-it-yourself project season so right now home depot has already pulled back and if this is one of the companies that thrive during the recession i could see that it's going to recover fairly soon depending on the prices of lumber so that is another one that you want to keep your eye on so after Home Depot and Lowe's, stock number six is General Mills. Now back in 2008 recession, General Mills actually went up 2.8%. And during 2020, General Mills actually went up 9.3%. Now, one of the reasons this happens is because consumers spend more money on groceries than going out to eat. During a recession, um, you're more likely to cook at home than to go out and pay for a $200 dinner. Now, if you take a quick look at General Mills, they're one of the best companies to invest into inside the grocery store because they make almost everything from, in, from dog food, baking, um, from cereal, all the way to where is it where they go hamburger helper that helps me out so much throughout college and it's going to help so many more college students during the recession while they're in college is just hamburger helper and they make so many more products like, like nature valley fillsbury <laughs> monster cereal raisin nut brand and yogurt so this one makes the list based off back in 2008 their stock went up when it was a recession and back in 2020 their stock went up when it was also in a, a pandemic recession. So if we go into another recession, hey, if the first time it went up, you fooled me once, shame on you. Second time you fooled me twice, shame on me. I'm not gonna have it, I'm not gonna let it happen the third time. So on the third time on General Mills, if we do go into a deep recession, this is gonna be one that I'm gonna add to my portfolio to try to uh, future proof my portfolio by, by adding some recession proof stocks to my portfolio to try to balance it out to adding General Mills to my portfolio. All right, guys, if you stay to the end of this video, I got a bonus stock for you, which is 0.5. Now, the reason I did add this one on here because I mentioned it in almost all my videos. This is one of my favorite stocks and that is Procter & Gamble. Procter & Gamble owns pretty much the entire grocery store. So everything that you're gonna buy in Walmart, everything you're gonna buy in Target, everything 
there are a lot of things that you're going to buy in any store that you go to, Dollar General, the dollar store, any store that you go to. If you pick it up, nine times out of ten, it's going to be made out of from Procter & Gamble, um, Clorox, or General Mills. So Procter & Gamble has way more products than General Mills. This is that I want to bring you guys a new one other than Procter & Gamble. Since I mention them all the time, but Procter & Gamble is one of my favorite ones. They, they are dividend kings. They've been increasing their dividends for the last 65 years, so a lot longer than any of us have been alive. So they survived it. So they survived many recessions, depressions, pandemics, everything. They survived everything and, and were still able to increase their dividends for the last 65 years. So Procter & Gamble, of course, is the 0.5 stock that I'm going to always add on whenever I'm talking about recession-proof stocks. So if you guys want to know what stocks I am buying during the recession, I'm going to leave a link down in the comment section. That's my Patreon, the Patreon to take it to my Discord. Inside the Discord, I post every single time I buy and sell stocks. I post my technical analysis, my swing trades, and, and also we have some pro day traders in there that post their option trades every single day inside the stock market. Also, you could be a part of a community of traders that, that are like-minded like you, that are investing into their sales, to invest into their future in order to find financial freedom. So, so if you want to be a part of the best community that is go ahead and check that link out in the comment section but yeah guys go ahead and drop down to the comment section again and drop down some of your favorite recession stocks that that perform well inside the stock market if i miss some there are some out there that i did miss let me know about those down in the comment section and if you was investing during 2008 if you was investing during the uh, pandemic let me know what companies that you was investing into that have skyrocketed after the pandemic or the recession was over, let me know what companies that you was investing to down in the comment section. But other than that, guys, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Um, hit the thumbs up button by liking this video. That helps out this video more than you can even imagine. Helps out this channel more than you can even imagine. So if you want to help out this channel, just by clicking a button, go ahead, hit that subscribe button and hit that thumbs up button. And if you're feeling like it, go ahead, hit that notification bell. Uh, but other than that, guys, don't don't forget to pick up your five free stocks of Weeble. It's literally free money, guys. Do not miss out on that opportunity. But I'm Zeke, bringing you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace.